and we're just cooking we're just cooking the build is so good what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so today i'm bringing you an update to the power pole uh patterns of justice monk build inside of diablo 3 season 28 so we made a lot of changes to this build from the last one that we had for our spinny stick um this to me is a much faster build and it's still just as powerful so uh get out there and be able to crank you know gr 90s gr 100s gr 105s it just absolutely decimates so let's go over everything that you need and how to play the build so you're going to need five of the six uh, patterns of justice set sweeping wing gains the effect of every rune increased movement speed by five percent for each stack attacking with tempest rush reduces damage taken by 50 percent and resource or, or spirit generation by 50 which is awesome and then hitting with tempest rush while sweeping wind is active increases the size and increases all damage by twenty thousand percent so the main thing we're going to be doing is just mashing not mashing we're just gonna be uh spinny sticking or power pulling our tempest rush we're just gonna hold it down we combined it with the captain crimson set for uh reduced cooldown and resource uh cost reduction as well as increased damage and then let's get over the pieces that we added we got uh scorch necklace for double damage we have stone of jordan to to have all of our elements you can see here we have 71 percent and that's because we have lightning um, skill damage here, lightning skill damage on our Stone of Jordan, and then lightning skill damage on our uh, legendary fist weapon. I would change this, but <clears throat> this amulet is really, really good. We got cold, uh, cold damage there. So I will change this back to cold. And uh, if we can get another Stone of Jordan that has cold damage on it, but until then, Stone of Jordan works just fine. And then we have Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac for um, cooldown and crit chance to help keep our other skills up at all times now another item that you definitely need for this build is the caesar's memento which enemies take increased damage for uh from tempest rush for five seconds after i hit them with a bright bri blind freeze or stun we're always going to stun them with a uh, tempest rush with cyclone strike because cyclone strike is going to be freezing any everybody and then one cyclone strike uh, or sweeping wind hits for three or more seconds because we have access to all the runes it's going to freeze them again so that's going to give a big damage increase now the next two items that we have here the first one is the one quam lao this is the main weapon that you need for the build or one of two main weapons that you need for the build hitting with tempest rush activates cyclone strike and both skills do increase damage so we don't even have to manually cast this anymore uh, tempest rush will auto cast it for us so we're good to go the next main weapon that you need is balance in our cube because it increases damage and then when you hit three or fewer enemies your critical uh, hit chance goes up 100 percent now the next weapon that we have here i have vengeful wind now here's a few options uh i have vengeful wind because you increase the stack count of sweeping wind by 10 and increases the damage of sweeping wind by 608 percent damage now you max out at three charges of or three stacks of sweeping wind so this goes to 13 and if you remember we gain five percent for each stack of movement speed of sweeping wind so we have 13 total stacks of sweeping wind times five percent which is 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 percent increased movement speed while sweeping wind is active at maximum stacks so that is one main way that we are just going to be zipping across the map now you don't have to run vengeful wind if you don't want to it's completely fine the extra 608 percent damage is cool for having sweeping wind it does help but um you know it's the main reason is to get the movement stacks now you can run uh echoing fury this is always a good option you could also run ingem if you really wanted to uh, echoing fury gives a 25 percent attack speed and movement or in the bin then the big movement speed increase i can't remember how much it actually is total but um you can run echoing fury Ingem is also good if you'd like uh but i really have been enjoying vengeful wind just to be even faster so our legendary gems are gogok of swiftness guys uh for um attack speed and dodge dodge chance and then cooldown reduction now you don't have to run gogok this is the one variable gem you could use um uh, molten wildebeest gizzard to help offset your squirts necklace that's always fine uh but the next two that you definitely need is bane of the trap for more damage and then take for more damage and armor okay so i like gogok just to have the cooldowns but really you could run to ensure that you're not taking a whole lot of damage and your squirts is always active i'd recommend molten wildebeest gizzard into the cube we have balance of course we went over mantle of channeling to help 
uh, increased damage and damage reduction while channeling Tempest Rush, and then Ring of Royal Grandor to pair the two sets together. Into our skills, we have Cyclone Strike Wall of Wind. This is going to help freeze our enemies to trigger our Caesar's Memento. We have Tempest Rise Flurry um, to help uh, with the cold damage and to be able to um, freeze everybody. Now, if you don't want to run Flurry, you know, with the Icy Blast, you can do Electric Field is also very good because this is going to have uh, enemies take 135% weapon damage as lightning every uh, every second this is also fine any one of these seem really good um, you could also do tailwind which is physical increase your movement speed by uh, while temp while using tempest rush by 25% we don't want tailwind though because we're doing all our all of our elemental damage here but uh, with stone of Jordan you could absolutely run that if you really wanted to uh, physical damage increase so if you want to be even faster I recommend flurry or electric field though because we want to be able to do all that damage so next we have a uh, dashing strike way of the falling star for just to get around the map faster and 20 percent increased movement speed for four seconds after epiphany for uh damage reduction by 50 percent and increased regen spirit regen and then here's the other skill that i swapped out mantra of conviction our normal damage is eight percent uh for each enemy enemies take eight percent increased damage and then when we kill an enemy affected by the mantra we get 30 percent increased movement speed for thir three seconds and when you activate it the eight percent goes to 16 which is really good so a little extra damage and more movement speed is always great then of course uh sweeping wind has every rune so it doesn't matter which one you pick our passives we have guardians for even more dodge chance we have seize the initiative for more damage Relentless Assault for 20% uh, more damage against fr uh, frozen enemies. And then Beacon of Yatar for cooldowns. So this build is absolutely fantastic. We're going to rock the Lightning Rune on this one. Um, but the build is really, really fast, guys. It's very simple to play. All we're going to do is pop Sweep and Win once. We're going to just hold down Tempest Rush. And then we're going to constantly have these three, three, those three uh, skills going. So let's go. GR90 as the base as always, guys. Let's pop this. Let's get it going super easy all you're gonna do is power pull like goku and just zoom across the map you want to reset all of your skills every single time they come up so it's easy mash and we're just cooking we're just cooking the build is so good it's so fast guys so so fast so fast we got a really good map for this too easy peasy all you gotta do is hold it down man spin to win spin to win Activate your mantras on cooldown. Activate epiphany as often as you can get it. Uh, crap. I lost it. No, I, I, I messed up. I messed up, guys. I messed up. Where's the end game here? Was I going the wrong way? I was. We're losing speed. We're losing time. There we go. Get me out of here. Floor two. The build is super, super cool. It just destroys everything, man. It destroys everything in its path. Stupid gate, get out of my way. Let's go. Mashing everything. As you can see, guys, with the with the smaller mobs, I'm just I'm just going. You have the passive damage as you run through these guys. So unless it's elite, I really don't stick around. I just keep moving with this build because you're so fast. You're gonna destroy them as you pass by them, which is just really cool. Destroy all these guys. Give me all those. We're off to the races. Really good map here. Kill all the elites. And then when it comes to single target damage, the build is just as strong. You see me just annihilate the boss. This is a sub two minute build. Sub two minute build, whether it's 90s, 95s, 100s, 105s, 110s, especially once you get your gems up. Minor low level gems, 30, 45, 25. Like I don't have high level gems. I have nothing augmented. So the build is just so fast. It's so fast, so like rewarding. It's so cool just to power pull enemies to death until they die. The build is just super fun. I really like it over, look at minute 46, sub two minutes, no problem whatsoever. Power pull, okay. This build is just absolutely amazing, guys. This is Patterns of Justice Power Pull Spinny Stick version 3, 4, whatever, whichever one I'm on. I don't know. But get out there if you're a monk build. Try the Vengeful Win for even more movement speed. 65%, guys. Are you kidding me? So 
This is the build. It's super fun. Drop a like on the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And don't forget, guys, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on the channel. And then don't forget, we're streaming all weekend for the Diablo 4 Open Beta. So I'll see everybody then. As always, stay gaming. Catch you in the next one. Peace.